hey loves welcome back to my channel so first thing is first I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin with my favorite moisturizer at the moment which is Emberly's now I went ahead and did my eyebrows so I'm good to go there now I'm gonna take benefits lemonade eye primer and I'm gonna apply it an even layer on both lids now I love this eye primer just because it has a yellow tint and it tends to cancel out any darkness that I might have Next, to set the primer, I'm going to go ahead and use a translucent powder. Now with my favorite uh, transition color, I'm going to use Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply this in the crease, making sure to blend really well. Next, from the same palette, I'm going to take another Makeup Geek favorite, which is Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to apply this directly on the crease on top of uh, creme brulee, making sure to blend really well. Here I'm using my favorite blending brush from Morphe Brushes and it's the M330. I love using this brush to blend out my crease colors. Now going back in with my transition color, I'm going to go ahead and blend out any harsh lines. Next, with a small angle brush, and you want to maybe use the tiniest and the thinnest um, angle brush you can find. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the crease. Now this is going to give the look and effect that it's, you know, clean looking and sharp. So you want to carefully um, do this. Uh, you can take any concealer that you want. Um, the one that I'm using is from MAC, so any one that you have at home will work. Next, I'm going to take my favorite glitter glue from Too Faced and with a flat shader brush, I'm going to apply an even layer on both eyelids before applying my pigment. Now, the pigment that I'm going to use uh, for this look um, is Makeup Geek's Pigment in Utopia. And with the same flat shader brush, you're going to go ahead and dab, not rub. Now, the purpose for this is because I find that when you rub the pigment or even glitter, it seems to kind of crease or even cake up and it loses its shine. So you want to make sure that you're dabbing, not rubbing. Now the flat shader brush that I'm using um, here is actually from um, Urban Decay. And it actually came in one of the naked um, palettes. You receive one of these brushes. And I love using this particular brush for any shimmery um, shadows and pigments. Next, with Motive's eyeshadow in Bitter Chocolate, I'm going to go ahead and intensify the outer V um, just a tiny bit more. And I'm using um, dabbing motions. So you want to go ahead and carefully uh, tap it on the outer V. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use Motive's um, gel liner in Little Black Dress. And I'm going to go ahead and carefully start lining my eyeliner. Now, I like my wing to look long and fierce. And I have mentioned this before in my last um, video that if you do tend to have a hooded eye or even a small eye, you might not want to uh, wing out your, your liner as much. You might want to keep it nice and simple. Now here I am using a, you know, angle brush from MAC Cosmetics and this one is in the number 263. I love using this um, angle brush for gel liners and you can use the 266 for um, powders. So if you're going to be using um, gel liners, I would recommend this particular one. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm going in with um, Makeup Geek's Mocha. Next, with Benefit's uh, new Roller Lash Mascara, I'm going to go ahead and apply an even layer on my lashes before I apply my lashes. 
Now the lashes I'm going to use today are from House of Lashes in my favorite Iconic. I use these pretty much all the time, so they're my absolute favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully place it in the middle and then you want to go ahead and attach from side to side. Next, taking my favorite mattifying primer from Too Faced. I'm going to apply this on my T-zone. These are the areas that I tend to get the most oiliest. So that is the reason why I'm applying it only to these areas. Next, I'm taking my Makeup Forever flash palette and I'm going to take both the red and yellow shades and I came up with this uh, orange color and I'm apply it underneath the eye and around my mouth area. Now I have some discoloration around my mouth. That is the reason why I'm applying it there and also make sure to blend it out really well. And yes, I know I look like a clown. I'm sure I look lovely. And now for my um, foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I'm I'm going to take my Dolly Move Facial Serum and apply it into my foundation. Now I love this facial serum just because it is all natural and organic. It's perfect for uh, dry skin. Now because my skin tends to dry or get dry in the winter time, I like to apply the facial serum into my foundation. And it basically just brings life back to my skin. It makes it look, you know, just very glowy and I don't know, I just love it. You know, as you guys can see, it just gives me a healthy glow. Now I'm going to go ahead and take motives uh, for Lala Sculpt Series in Fire. And I am in love with this um, contour palette. It blends like a dream and it also smells so good. It smells like baby powder and I love that smell. As you guys can see here, it's just so easy to blend and apply. I'm just in love with this palette. And I can guarantee you guys, if you purchase this palette, you will actually thank me. Yeah, it's really that good. As you guys can see here, I'm having a little too much fun highlighting. Now for my contour, I'm going to go ahead and use the lightest shade in the palette. Now if you want more of a dramatic look, then you go ahead and use the darker shade. And that also applies to every other um, palette um, out there. Also to a palette that you might have at home. If you ever wonder why you have two uh, different contouring shades, that is the reason why. One is for more of a dramatic uh, contour and the other one is for more of a less dramatic contour. Now taking my favorite um, brush from Kaylin Cosmetics and it's the Oh Wow Dome brush. And I love using this brush to blend out my contour. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this particular brush used around Instagram and on YouTube. And what it does, it basically just gives you a very nice even finish. It blends out your contour really nicely. As you guys can see here, it doesn't leave any harsh lines. I just, I'm just in love with this brush. Now using another favorite brush of mine, um, and this one is from MAC Cosmetics, and it's the number 130. And I love using this particular brush for blending out my highlight. And I also use uh, the brush to blend out my nose contour as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use Benefit Cosmetics Bronzer in Dallas, and I'm going to go ahead and use the bronzer to set my contour. Thank you. 
Now with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to go ahead and set all the areas that I highlighted. Next with Motives Cosmetics uh, Blush in So Peachy, I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the apples of my cheeks, making sure to blend really well. Next, taking Benefit Cosmetics Sunbeam, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the apples of my cheeks and on my forehead. And this is basically going to give me extra glow when I apply the illuminator. Now to blend out the product, I'm going to go back in with the Kaylin Cosmetics Oh Wow Dome Brush and I'm going to make sure to dab not rub. So now on to my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite illuminator from Laura Geller in Gilded Honey and I'm apply this on the areas that I apply the Benefit Sunbeam and again this is just going to give me an extra glow. Next, with my Motive Lip Liner in Natural, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Now taking my Gerard Cosmetics uh, Liquid Matte Lipstick in Serenity, I'm going to go ahead and apply this right over that lip liner. Now to add a little bit of shine, I'm going to use my Motive's uh, Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Kiss Me. I'm going to apply this right over Serenity. So this is the completed look. I hope you all liked it. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Until next time, bye-bye.